Hello, amazing artists. We are going to work on our mouse paint picture today. And what we are going to do is review two super important skills, how to hold and use scissors and how to use your glue. They sound pretty simple and they are if you do it the right way. So we're gonna review and become even better artists today. Let's take a look at what we're going to work with. We've got our scissors and our glue, of course. We've got our three puddles in our primary colors, red, yellow, blue, and then we've got from our assorted pack of colored construction paper, three pieces of black paper. Put these to the side. We're going to use them later. We are going to start with cutting. So find your scissors and your puddles and let's begin. When you hold your scissors, what you want to be aware of is that there is a small oval and a jelly bean shape. Your thumb always goes in the oval. And then you put whatever fingers feel comfortable to you in the jelly bean. You might only use two fingers or you might have three fingers. I don't know, are you gonna put all four fingers? I can't because my hand is too big. But this is easy for me to open and close all the way. Figure out the best way for you to hold your scissors so you can open and close easily. Now, when you use your scissors, the thumb is always on top, pointing at the ceiling. Your fingers and the jelly bean are always closest to the table, and your scissors always point forward. So you might be wondering, how do we cut out something round like this if we're always pointing in a straight direction? Great question, I'm glad you asked. You use your other hand to turn your paper as you work. And always keep your hand close to where you are cutting so you have the most control. When you are ready to cut, find the closest edge to the object you're cutting out. That is the smallest distance you'll have to travel with your scissors. And isn't it better to make less work for yourself when you don't have to cut through something that counts? That's just going to be scrap later. So we'd go to the shortest distance. I'm going to hold my paper steady with my other hand, cut to my line, and as I get to my line, my scissors are still pointing forward. I'm gonna use this hand to curve my paper, whatever direction it needs to go. And this way, I stay right on my line. Now look what my hand did. I switched all the way over here. Now my hand is closer to my scissors. This allows me to have more control over my turning so that I make sure I'm turning to help my scissor hand go right on the line I want it to go on. If your hand is far away from your scissors, it's harder. If your hand is closer to your scissors, it's easier. Don't you want this to be easier for your hand? Of course. Once you have it cut out, put it to the side and let's find our other one. Now here's another sticky situation. We have a huge piece of paper and two things to cut out. It's sometimes very hard to cut one thing out when the rest of the paper is very big. So in this case, and any other case you might find similar to this in your future, why don't you cut the two things apart first? Then focus on one at a time. I find the shortest distance to my oval right here. Open my scissors all the way because doesn't it make more sense to make one long cut than a whole bunch of tiny little snips? Snip, 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 snip. That could take a long time and it will make my hand very tired. Let's cut out the rest of our ovals now. Okay, I bet you are a professional cutter now. Great job, everyone. You can put your scissors off to the side and let's find our three pieces of black paper and our glue. Let's have a serious conversation about glue, everybody. What we are going to do is we are going to focus on opening up our glue bottle 
the right way. So only turn the orange part that you see right here, the nozzle, so that it rises above the white part of the bottle right here. You're going to listen for it to breathe. If you can hear that, that means your bottle is going to work. But what if you don't hear that? It probably means there's some dried glue on the top that is preventing the air to, from coming out. So close your bottle, pick off that extra glue on the top, do not lick your fingers, and then open up that bottle again. Watch it rise above the white part. Listen for the air and now you are ready to go. All right, let's glue one of our ovals. You only need one paper at a time. So we're gonna take a piece of our black paper and we're going to place it in front of us going landscape. Landscape is like a painting of a landscape that's beautiful and you look at the whole land and the hills and the mountains rising, but it goes across ways. Portrait means you're looking at a portrait of a person and most portraits of people have been made with the position of the paper or canvas going up and down. We are going to glue landscape puddles today. So turn your paper like this, find a puddle, turn it over, and usually you wanna set it down to do this, but I'm gonna hold it up so you can see really well. Take your bottle of glue and all you have to do for glue is copy the shape of the object you're gluing, staying about an inch away from the edge. You do not want to go all the way to the edge right here. If you do that, you'll flip it over, press it down to the paper, and glue will squish out everywhere and you will have very gluey hands. Once again, do not lick your fingers. So what we want to do is we want to just put it about an inch from the edge, then we can flip it over. And for this particular project, we're going to glue them near the bottom of the paper with just a little bit of black paper showing at the bottom. Give it a nice push and look at that. Do you see any glue squishing out of the side? No, you do not. So we know we've done this right. Let's do another one. How are you gonna position your paper, everybody? Did you say landscape in your head? I bet you did. So here we go. Let's glue our last two puddles. And when you are done, set these somewhere to dry and enjoy your new skills of cutting and gluing. Mm -hmm.